kind of a big deal. You know when the title says Roja, your boy dropped a little bit of a bag. Don't think it's the video that everybody else is putting out where they got the whole Roja new lineup collection. I'm not at that level yet. People don't like me that much. I trigger people. Let's roll my motherfucking music so I can put y'all onto the Roja that I did cop. That's pretty interesting. Bless and morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. This is your boy, C to the U to the B to the A. I bagged this joint up literally blind buy, as usual, because that's what I do. Yeah, this is an expensive blind buy. Let's not get shit twisted. But I wanted to check it out because it's been one of the more complimented Roja fragrances in their lineup other than like Elysium and shit like that. So I said, fuck it, I pulled the trigger, bang. Got a little bit of a discountes and just picked it up and the fragrance is none other than Roja's Danger. Yeah, that's right, Roja's Danger. Roja's Danger is actually a really, really nice surprise. And what was extra interesting about it was my wife's first thoughts on this fragrance, which was an unusual response. I was like, before I got in trouble, I was like, ma, I got a new fragrance. You wanna smell it? She gave me the quick eye roll and was like, yeah, I." Right. She smelled it, she's like, hmm, reminds me of you. What? What do you mean reminds you of me? This is what I smell like, I like it. What? But apparently it reminds her of me. This fragrance is actually quite nice. It's got a real old school fougere vibe, definitely. A strong lavender, a nice vanillic note. It's not old, not to me at least. I mean, then again, I'm, you know, washed up and old and I think I'm 20 something years old, but it doesn't feel old. It feels more modern, yet with an old school vibe. And I've used that example on several fragrances, but that's just what my impressions are. Old school suits and old school styles are being reinvented and everybody does that kind of style once again everything circulates and comes back to the origin in this particular case this is actually a really really nice fragrance it's very vanilla fougere lavender musky and then it's got a sweet tartness i'm assuming it's coming from the rhubarb note that's in there which rhubarb is a note that's in some fragrances and it's an acquired note but it's not bad it's just got a juicy sourness about it this is also very ambergris potent like you definitely smell a little bit of that sperm whale Nut, uh, puke, whatever. She gives it kind of this aquatic, ugh, but it's not off putting at all. It's very mature. It's definitely got a potency behind it. It's not a boring fragrance at all, and the performance actually has been very stellar on my skin about nine plus hours, which is, you know, what I would expect when you're spending that kind of loose on this type of fragrance. This is definitely more of a gentleman type fragrance. I ain't gonna lie. This is not for a younger cat. This is definitely for a more mature individual. If you're one who's consistently dressed up or in a suit or even business casual, this fragrance would definitely suit you well. If you're going to an after party event, it would have to be a cocktail mixer where you're networking with other people. It will get a compliment factor, I think. I haven't gotten any compliment factors on this as of yet. Then again, I just got it. I've gotten a good three wears out of it. And again, the performance has been amazing, the smell has been awesome, it's definitely kept a nice scent bubble around me, and it's been something that I've been enjoying wearing. I do enjoy a good fougere now and then when it doesn't smell too dated or if I'm wearing a fucking zoot suit. I don't feel this fragrance would be categorized as a sexy fragrance, like this shit doesn't give me an erection, I don't think nobody's box is gonna get wet off of this shit, but I do think that you will get a compliment factor. I think it has a safe quality. If you gotta watch your trick, if you're gonna wear this shit in the office, because again, the potency and the sillage that this shit got, it's got some base behind it, so just watch your spray levels when you're in clothes. But when you're outdoors, go ahead and go ham, because if you're definitely trying to attract people around you and make them seem like you're mass sophisticated and all intellectual and whatnot, yeah, I got my good enough diploma and associates. I'm popping out here in these streets. You can definitely get that kind of vibe from this fragrance. All in all, I think Roja Danger! is a solid purchase, not for full retail. If you can get this shit for a discount, I definitely think you should at least sample the shit first. It's got old school qualities, but I definitely enjoy the fragrance. Roja, well done on this old school modernized gem. Is it a ball sprayer? It's absolutely a ball sprayer, but I spent a pretty coin on this shit and I'm not gonna start wasting it on my nutsack because my nutsack is actually freshly powdered right now. So I love y'all motherfuckers from the heart. Any other Rojas that I can try to find, you know, on the gray market because I can't afford these motherfuckers, let me know which one I should check out. And I'll see y'all bitches next time. You know who it is, it's the biggest in the game with the green screen back. Cause you know I miss my shit. Smooches.
fresh, who is best? One of them's gonna pass the test. Who I Fly gun holder, money folder, motor roller, star tag. When it's time to call back, uh, for the rough, rugged, and raw way, this nigga Jay, it's a game, but he don't play. Hey, for all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse, sweet on top of my mom's crib. Hey. It's long since you never get in. It's long since that you would think that you would. <laughs>